What's going on in your world, Jamie? Hi, so glad to talk to you guys. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Um, my my question is, are are we too old and are we dreaming too big too late? And the reason why I say this is because I have been been watching and listening to everything Ramsey for the last week. And I went from gazelle focus, totally excited to absolute fear oh. because we have absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing. We have eight kids. We've already failed the oldest three. Um, although I hope to be able to teach them these things too, but we still have six younger ones. Um, and, I, I like everything in me. I've, I haven't heard anybody with like our, our place. And, um, I feel like I'm going to fail the budget. I've never done one before in my life. I'm mm-hmm. just kind of like, um, I'm a stay at home mom and homeschooler. So I'm kind of like, are we too old? Are we too late? Is this going to happen? How like, old are you? Because yeah, you, you have the energy young. of a 17 year old. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Um, I'm 40. I'll be 42. My oh my gosh. Seven. How are you still alive? You're a newborn baby. <laughs> you should run for president. You're so old. <laughs> well, it feels what, like who that. told I mean, you you were old at 40? Jamie, who told you that it was too late for it, you? Look, she's at home with these kids. She is feeling it right now. That's what it is. Yeah. These kids are running well, her because, ragged. Well, because I feel like I failed our older three already. We can't help them pay for any education whatsoever. Hey, you know, I, all hey we hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I've heard you say the word fail too many times in this <laughs> short period of time. And I want you to stop saying that. Okay. Nobody talks to our friend Jamie like that. Yeah, I don't like that. Especially not Jamie. <laughs> exactly. Stop using that word fail because life, we're learning out here. We're learning. Yeah. And also, there's like a 75-year-old listening right now who's offended that you said you're old. <laughs> okay. I know that's right. I'm so sorry to the 75-year-old. <laughs> Let, let's roll this thing out because okay. we the, the goal is for us to debunk everything that you've just all the fears that you've just laid out. So let, let's look at the finances here. You got eight kids. What's the household income? Uh, we're at about 55 right now. Um, I'm currently looking for a job. I'm door dashing, trying to add as much income as I can while still being able to be at home. I mean, daycare is way too expensive sure. for me to go out and get an outside job. Okay. So how much is the debt that you guys are facing? Uh, 58000 58000 What kind of debt is it? Give us the breakdown. Uh, we have 17 four across seven credit cards. We have a $7,800 car note, 5000 in medical, and my stupidity, <laughs> 27000 in student loans. How much in student loans again? Sorry, I was writing all that down. Yeah, 27000 27000 in student loans. All right. I thought you were going to say a lot more debt than what you said, so I'm glad that it's fifty eight k because, look, here's the thing. It could be worse. It could be a lot worse. Your girl talking to you right now, I paid off 460000 and the income at the time when we started was 30000 So when I tell you all oh, wow. things are possible, all things are possible. And it might require you, it probably is going to require you to pick up some extra work whenever you can find it. And I'm not going to sit over here and act like I know when that is because you've got eight kids and I've got two. So right. whatever that looks like for you and your husband, there's you. if you want to get this done quickly, you do need to increase your income. And you can start thinking about ways that you could do that. But in the meantime, you've been listening to us for the past few weeks. We're going to tell you what we tell everybody else to do. You got to walk through these baby steps. Thing one is you got to get that thousand dollars saved. I don't know if you've done that yet, but put aside a thousand dollars. Most people can get it done in 30 days. If they're selling things, going scorched earth, the kids let them know we're eating noodles with butter this month. Like that's what that's (laughs) on the menu. Okay. And so that's okay. what that looks like. And then we're going to do, we're going to work this debt through this debt snowball. We're going to list them smallest to largest, not by interest rate, balance only, smallest to largest. So your smallest balance looks like it's this medical debt, right? The 5K? Uh, or is it a baby smallest, credit card? It's baby credit. We have like a two seven hundred to 1700 So Good. You'll knock those out real like, fast. Yeah. It seems like that poss- is definitely possible. Do you don't have any money outside of the thousand? I feel like you do. No, we have nothing. Nothing at all? Anything you can sell? Just a thousand. Uh, No, we don't really have many quality things. I mean, I could probably muster out, you know, four or five um, low-cost things to sell. But other than that, not really. Okay. What's he doing for work? Um, He's a city. He works for a city locating utilities under the ground. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Um, and I hope, I mean, I've, I've been looking for jobs like crazy and I'm hoping to be able to at least add up to 20,000 a year yes. from the jobs that I've been able to find. So, I mean, I'm no stranger to work. Yeah, <laughs> that's incredible. I think if you can do that, you've got to do that. And, you know, I take, I've taken this question a couple of times, even on my Instagram, you know, sometimes dealing with single moms or people who are really just at the brink. And it's like, okay, there does come a point where it's like, you're doing all that you can. You've taken all the extra jobs. It doesn't make sense to do this because of daycare. There does come a point where it's like, okay, I'm bringing in what I feel like is the amount of money. And then you just got to ride it out, man. That at some point it's like, I've just got to ride the train until I get to the stop. And sometimes it is like that. I do think you can get your income up uh, more, um, but you might not, you might not be making 150K when this all shakes yeah. out. You right. might be at 80 or you might be at 90, but keep going down that field and keep pushing forward because you might you might get your income up more than what you ever thought possible. But here's the thing, the time is gonna pass. So we've gotta keep going hard. We've gotta keep being intense about this. And it might not go as fast as you want it to go. You guys have eight kids and that's a choice that yeah. you, you know, that you- yeah you've got to deal with. And so yeah. it's about finding ways to get that income up, getting the expenses down and just walk through this snowball. And at the end of the day, not taking on any more debt, drawing that line in the sand and saying, this is it. I'm not borrowing any more money. My husband and I, it took us seven and a half years, Jamie, to pay off our debt. So I, I this this might be a journey for you, but it's a journey worth going on because at the end of the day, like I said, the time is going to pass. So go on the journey and go on the ride and, and get this debt paid off. Are you guys using a budget? Yeah. Um, I For the first time in my life, I I did April, which was a lost cause, but I was just trying to look and see what happened in April and find mm -hmm. money. And so I'm working on the May one to get that going. Is he on board um, with this? This feels like a Jamie plan so far. Yeah, it definitely started with me, um, but I have been trying to um, tell him a why, and he is definitely getting on board more each day. Good. Well, I'm okay. going to make it yeah. easier for you. We're going to gift you Financial Peace University for one year as well as every dollar premium. Yes. But I'll leave you with this. The best time to plant a tree was 30 years ago. The second best time to plant it is today. You can do this, Jenny. Oh, thank you. You got this. Thank you. Thank you. I actually really love that quote, George. That was, uh, she that was deep. It. It's not too late. But we got to stop looking to the past. That's start right. Start looking to the future. And you're not a failure. You'll never get anywhere with that kind of language. And that's for any of y'all listening. Be nicer to yourself and give yourself some grace out here.